Welcome to the stream, everyone, and thank you for tuning in to Iggy Kid on Twitch.tv. And now, introducing your host, from the 16-bit afterlife, weighing in at 273 kilobytes, assisted by the hands and voice of her mortal vessel, Iggy Kid. They are the ghost in the machine. The Electric Spectre! El Fantasma de la Electriciedad! We oh! Hello! I am here. Thankfully, I was having some technical issues. Uh, I had to reset my computer because of some partitioning nonsense that I messed up. So, reset it to a backup. Everything's fine. But, uh, it means that all of my, like, security permissions aren't done. So that means that Lee, uh, wasn't popping up. I'm so frustrated. And then I realized, oh yeah, I didn't tell OBS that it could record my, uh, screen. So it couldn't actually see Lee. Uh, we are digging into Shovel Knight Treasure Trove. Shovel Knight is, for quite a while, it's been my favorite game. Um, trying to think. Is it still? Yeah, I'd say so. But uh, yeah, we're going to play through all four in order of release. Um, which I'll say, it's like Spectre of Torment, Shovel of Hope, King of Cards... And Plague of Shadows, in terms of, like, what I actually like. Plague of Shadows, I'm not super huge on because it's, like... They kind of just took the original game and slapped a new character in there. And he moves so different that it's it feels different a little bit. But I think it's kind of sloppy compared to Plague of, uh, Spectre of Torment, where things are completely different. They redesigned everything. And King of Cards is high up there because I like uh, card games. So... I actually haven't beaten that one. That's the only one I haven't beaten, but it's just because I was, I've was i been too busy since it came out. But we're starting with Shovel of Hope. Here we go, classic Shovel Knight action. And of course we're gonna be Barf Follow Barf Follow Mew. Will that fit? I don't even know if I can spell it. Uh, close enough, Barf Follow Mew. Barfollum. Barfollum! I'll take that. Uh, body swap mode. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Um. Hold on. No, no, no. We're just gonna go. Uh. Let's just go all dude mode. Let's change the text to binary. Yes. Or non-binary. Um. Okay. I think. Okay. N no. What's. Uh. Okay. Oh, did that work? I think that worked. Yes! Let's go! I also have, you can probably hear it, a yoga ball to sit on to try and keep my, my core good. Uh, long ago, the lands were untamed and roamed by legendary adventurers. Of all heroes, none shone brighter than Shovel Knight and Shield. Their travels together ended at the Tower of Fate, when a cursed amulet wrought a terrible magic. When Shovel Knight awoke, the tower was sealed, and Shield Knight was gone. Their spirit broken, a grieving Shovel Knight went into a life of solitude. But without champions, the land was seized by a vile power, 
the Enchanter, and their Order of New Quarter. Now the tower is unseen, and devastation looms. A new adventure is about to begin. Hey, Laser. Thanks for tuning in. I have not played this game in quite a while, but I am pretty decent at it. Oh, same. Yeah, this is, like, definitely a favorite. When it came out, it was my favorite for quite a while. Uh, I don't think if anything has unseated that yet. I mean, in terms of what I actually play the most, uh, I don't know. I have played the main Shovel of Hope campaign so many times. Um, then I've played the side ones at least once, once each. So, I'd say it's, it's, it's certainly... Yeah, I can't think of any that are better for to beat it for me, so this is my favorite game. I'm glad I finally... I've been, like, holding off because I was like, I'm going to do it as a marathon, and then it's like... Why bother, you know? Especially last time I basically did a marathon. Unintentionally, but... It just panned out that way. Because I got... I was planning on stopping Super Mario Advance, but I was, like, right at the end already, so I was like, well, I'll just finish it off, I guess. Hey, I still got it. Hey, here's a trick with this guy. He just bounce. He just bounce on me. I feel bad, he's just hanging out. He's just hanging out blowing bubbles. That's MH. Bam! Bam! And I believe... There's a secret here. No, not this time. There's a secret in a screen that looks like that somewhere in the game. Yeah, little slimes. Little slime guys. Taken care of. Handily. Not even a problem. Um, yeah, I think the bosses are the point where it's going to be clear that I'm pretty rusty. But, uh, for the most part, I should do pretty, pretty alright in this, uh, the Shovel Poke campaign, and then when I get one. Spectre of Torment, and especially Plague of Shadows. I never really got the hang of how Plague Knight moves. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe that's half of why I don't really care for it so much. Oh, jeez. The D-pad on this particular controller is not doing so good, so I might have to switch to a different controller. My dragon. Wanna get him yet? Wanna get him yet? Let me, let me bounce off him and get the hoya! See? So you gotta think about it. You can't just go crazy. Hit whatever's in front of you, you gotta you gotta wait for a second. Plan things out. Get a CPA. Get a plan for your life. You figure out who you're gonna marry. Are you gonna get married? Your cousin got married. Maybe you should talk to him sometime. Maybe he'll give you some advice. His aunt is doing great. Being that that's... Whoop! Boing! Yeah, it's just... It's a classic... Classic NES sort of platformer, but with such a nice fluid movement system. And as I have said many times on here, a nice fluid movement system is the main thing that I look for in any game, really. Like, if it's a puzzle game, obviously, that's not going to matter as much. But, yeah, in, like, a platformer, buddy, if it don't move good, I ain't interested. Uh, so what did I do with my week? Let's see. Last... Uh... 
I set up, I, I play piano, I have been for a couple of years, and I've always been pretty interested in music in general. I had a pretty musical upbringing. My dad is a classical guitarist, and he's in, been in several bands. I don't know how many bands he's in right now. He has a new band for sure that is pretty slick. I forget what it's called. I've seen them on Instagram, and they're pretty pretty awesome, but I haven't been to a live show yet. I'm hoping, because I'm going to go visit, visit my dad uh, around Christmas time. I hope to catch a live show of that new band, because they're pretty, pretty awesome. And I just, I like seeing live music in general. I should do that more around here. I'm sure there's live music. Like, it's not necessarily going to be bands that I've... Just getting distracted. It might not be bands that I personally know, but it's like I will find out about them and probably like some of them. And yeah, uh, what I was getting into is that the piano that I have, the electric piano, a Yamaha Piagero NP12, which is a pretty great starter piano. They're only like a couple hundred bucks. And they, you know, probably use couple hundred bucks. Give me that green gem. Give me that green gem. There it is. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty straightforward thing. It doesn't have like a million, you know, different instruments and stuff. It has, it has ten instruments. You can combine them, you can record. It's got a built-in metronome. Very straightforward. Oh uh, no, all my stuff. Nah. Well, I got the big ones. Um... Oh, forgot that there's bounce back. Okay. Still getting back into the groove of this particular game. Um, but if you get a USB cable for it, which I did, and it's a pretty straightforward, just like A to B USB cable, you can use it as a MIDI controller in uh, FL Studio, a program that I have and not used a ton since I bought it. It's not a super expensive program, but it's enough that I've been like, ah, I really need to make some music. I Son of a... But, ah! I need to get a better feel for how the bounce back works. One second, I'm eating peanut butter pretzels. Um, but yeah, I've done some nerdcore music in the past. I've always wanted to do it more regularly. It's like I, mm. man, I'm so out of practice in this game. Um, it's like I'll have an event coming up like a convention or something, and I'll basically just, like, make enough songs for that event. And I never sit down and actually record them. I just compose the backing tracks, and then perform them live, and then never record vocals. Because here's the thing. When you're just, like, making... Oh my god. When you're just, like, making the music in the program, you have so much control over every single aspect of it. But when you're recording vocals, it's just kind of you. It's just kind of the way you're going to perform it. It's going to work or it's not going to work. And there's a lot of, you know, flavor you can add on top, and you can do all this mixing and mastering and all sorts of stuff. Well, the reality is, uh, I'm just self-conscious about my, my performances like that. It's like, doing them live, it means that I, you know, I did it, it's done. Doing it into a mic and then like listening back over and over and trying to get a take that I like. That's uh that's a very different vibe. One that you know I'm not as comfortable with, even though like it's not like a you know situation where like, oh I hear how my voice sounds recorded. I am very used to how my voice sounds recorded. I have been recording myself 
or like listening to myself live as I am now uh, for yeah like over a decade 12 years um, so I'm very used to hearing myself it's more that hearing myself talk is very different from hearing myself try and rap or hear myself try to sing because I love to do those things but I love to do them when you know it's not going to affect my workflow if I do them poorly, I suppose. Doing it for serious, I guess. I have such irony poisoning that it's like, if I'm doing it for serious, trying to actually do a good job. Ah, thanks, Laser. I think I sing it okay. It, it depends on the day, right? And that was something that was very heartening, watching, um... Uh, there was that Beatles documentary that's on Hulu. That Peter Jackson just, like... You know, remastered a bunch of stuff. Aha, here we are. I knew you'd show your face sooner or later. The Cerulean Coward! Turn back, Shovel Knight. There's nothing here for you anymore. Stand aside, Black Knight. I have no quarrel with you. I must return to the Tower of Fate! Your time away has dulled your senses. Can't you see? This entire valley has been conquered by the Enchanter! And they're invincible knights of the Order of No Quarter stand between you and the Tower. None of that matters, because anyone after the Enchanter has to go through me. Steal thy shovel. Here we go. Whoops. I hit the wrong button. I'm still getting used to what the buttons are. I prefer to hit him with a, with a bop. A bop on top. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Especially, yeah, if you can corner him. That's usually the best move in this fight, because he doesn't have much of an up attack at this point. He does the jump, but if you just get the high ground on it. Whoa, there we go. First try. Oh, I could have done it flawless, but I didn't. But, um, yeah, watching that, they're, like, recording stuff that is just, like, legendary tracks. They're recording the album Let It Be. And they keep talking about, like, yeah, my, vo uh, my voice was so much better yesterday, I wish we could use those recordings, but they were trying to get a live of the whole band. Whereas nowadays, it's like you have everything isolated, and you could easily use whatever take on whichever... Like, you can mix and match all you like. Oh, jeez, here we go. Catch them. Catch! Yeah. Who is it? Risen. Oh, for sure. For sure. I mean, the story, it's that classic kind of NES story where it's like, not that complicated, but it resonates. Like, it's so simple that, like, it's more relatable, you know? Halt! No weapons! We have enough to worry about lately without everyone swinging swords around. Oh, <laughs> that's no weapon. Just a shovel. You may enter, then! And don't forget, press up to talk to everyone. I don't need to talk to everyone. But I'll talk to the key people. Hail, traveler! I am but a simple bard, but I have a big problem. Plus all my music sheets. My entire repertoire lays scattered across the land. If you ever find a music sheet, return it to me, and I shall reward you handsomely. Whoa! You have two music sheets. Magnificent! Take 500 gold for each. Wonderful. Let's see here. Oh, you found the rival. Black Knight has fine musical taste. Should have studied composition, but then I suppose I'd be the one with the rival. Now that I have this music sheet, I can perform it for you anytime. Just ask. Oh, you've got a pretty face. You should come visit often. I'll probably recycle that. Hello, Goat Tishin. Decisions, decisions, extend my magic or help. Or just eat a tin can. Why not buy my meal ticket and help narrow my options? Yes. Da ding. Oh, whoop. A meal ticket. Hand it to me. I'll get to work on my best recipe. I'll dazzle your palate in no time or less, so bon appetit and pardon me.
I do not eat paper like I used to. I, I was a pencil chewer more than anything. I wasn't so much a, a uh, paper chewer. Want more use out of your relics? Oh, yes, of course. Uh, I can increase your maximum magic. Good. Oh, but no relics yet. What? I can. You have to find some relics. Chester, down the ladder. He always has the weirdest things. Wait, what was I doing? Hmm. I think I can get another one from Goatition. Ooh, just shy. Hello? Ah, oh, no face! Dancers, acolytes, witches, goats, everyone's welcome in here. Ooh, that Spectre Knight. If someone could defeat them, I would bestow upon them my greatest treasure. Oh, woe oh, is me, the king of nothing, not to rule but my lone barstool. Monarch Knight sits on Pridemore's throne. That gilded ghoul, they'll get there soon. Dabber, trabber, soil, and shovel. My third eye knows your useless infos. Excavatio! The number of dick piles you've dug is seven. Arum Infiniosa! The amount of gold you've collected is 6,126. The Nato Refertatum! The number of times you've followed a battle is five. Temporum Perpetua! The total time you've spent adventuring is 16 minutes, 56 seconds. I magically see all of your acts. Come back again for more useful facts. Thanks for helping me, kindly witch. I'm not a witch! Yeah, what have you said, huh? Um, oh yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll give this a shot. Uh, I suppose peaceful solitude is too much to ask for. Well, as long as I'm stranded here. Shall we pass the time with the little game? Just need 100 gold first. Alright, I'll conjure up some things and you can hit them toward the target's points, okay? Boink, boink, ah, dang it. Boink, there we go. Boink. Boink. Three is alright, I'm gonna get the. I'm gonna get those fives. Oh. No, those are tens. Uh, uh. Yeah. Oh. I have done much better on this, I swear. I, yeah, I can't remember the last time I played this. It's been too long. I think I played it sometime after, um, the, uh, the cards mode came out. I haven't really touched it since. Ah! Okay, let's take it. 34. Nothing. You got 134 points. Good job, I guess. Take this and come back and get bored again. Well, I made my money back, and that's enough to get the goatition. Waifu. I'll take waifu on, on Mona. Mona's pretty, pretty cool. I like the dancer a little more, personally, but that's just personal preference. Alright, meal ticket. Whoop. It was enough. That's all I care about. Lizard leg. Lizard leg. Um. But yeah, it's it depending on the day. Some days I sound, I think, a lot better than others. And overall, I'm self-taught, so uh, Lord knows if I'm staying in key generally. Hey, Shovel Knight, I know things are tough, but don't throw in the trowel. Hello, fish friend. All hail the Trowel King. Uh, oh, I don't have that. Oh, wait. Ooh, there's just the... The cup. I'll have to come back for that. Psst. Hey, blue person. You wouldn't believe the merchandise I've got for you today. Why not have a look? Ah, crap. I can't afford either. Well, we'll be back. Shh. That bar are back. You give them an inch, they think they're a ruler. <laughs> As Hello? Uh... That's not who I was trying to talk to. Are you really the shovel guy? Prove it by digging up this dirt. 
Wow, incredible. You really are a shovel knight. Indeed I am. Carry me. Oh, yeah. It's actually what do we got? Just various jewels. Just various jewels. I believe that's the amiibo. I do have a shovel knight amiibo. I have the gold shovel knight. Um, it's in box, so I don't wanna. I don't think I can use it. But yeah, uh, I finally got a, uh, I oh, hello. Hmm, something seems fishy. What was that guy back in town going on about? You know, I ought to march right back there and give him a piece of my mind. Okay, that's telling me that I have to actually go get one of the chalices. Uh, yeah, we'll go pride more. For shovelry! I should play this again. Frankly, yeah, this is one of those ones like, um, Banjo-Kazooie, like, my top five games where I'm like, every couple years I get the itch to, to go through it all again. It's worth it. Especially with Banjo-Kazooie, it's like, that one, you know, it can take a while, but this one was pretty quick. I'll get through probably a lot of it just in this stream, and that's even with the stream being cut short since I had to start late. I've been, uh... Yeah, I've been... Uh, well, I'll get into that in a minute. But basically, I got a MIDI cable, so I am going to be able to, whereas before I would get, just kind of punch in all the bits of music by hand with the mouse, you know, that's fine, but now that I can actually play piano decently enough, um, I want to have the MIDI cable so that I can basically play my piano straight in, and I can find all sorts of plugins, many of which are free, that can make it whatever instrument I want. The one I was really looking for, which I finally found one that was free and reputable, I feel bad about these rats. Like, they're just hanging out. They don't even know what's going on. They don't have anything to do with this. Um. What I still gotta do? Is there in the way? What do you want from me? Um. But yeah, the one I really wanted was the Hammond B3 organ. That, like, classic rock organ. Like, you hear. The, the spot I always think is, uh,. Frank Sinatra's That's Life. That's life. That's what all the people say. See what I'm saying? I was singing that much better yesterday, but not so much right now. Um, I'm not trying to moment. But, uh, yeah, I really wanted that organ sound because I've just been so obsessed with it. It sounds so cool. I love it that sound, man. I know the secrets. Yeah, can't get them. Um, I mean, it's not anything that big. So, found that. So I'm gonna use that a lot. Uh, got a bunch of other stuff. Uh, I got Humble Bundle. They might still be doing it. They were doing just like this music, like loop and sample pack. Uh, Humble Bundle. So it's like a crap load of songs, or like loops and samples that you can use in songs uh, for like 20 bucks for the full pack. And one of the things you get in that $20 pack is a $25 voucher for, like, samples, for, like, store credit. So it's like, you're already making your money back doing that. So it's just, it just was a great deal, and I was like, yes, we're gonna, we're gonna do this. Come on. How's it not? Huh? Oh, not. Lined up. Yes, I'm pretty sure I'm lined up. Not working. 
So I need something special. Oh, there we go. I don't know why that wasn't working. Um, so, yeah, I got a ton of loops, and already I listened to some of them, and I'm like, there's some awesome ones in there. There's this one pack, Cyber Clash, in the village or out in the field. I have all the deals. Not gonna believe what I just found in this chest. Want to see? I'm still figuring out what voice I want to do for him. I think I wanted to have an accent. Oh, crap, crap! Ooh! That worked out. Okay. Why is it giving me so much trouble? Come on, come on, get in there. There we go, I swear I'm hitting the thing. Um... But yeah, there's one called Cyber Clash. Oh, come on. <sighs> Bogus. Uh, there's one called Cyber Clash where it's literally like... This is just what it sounds like when there's a mech battle. It's like, yeah, listen to it, that's that's what it is. So, I'm gonna use that for some stuff. Um... There's one that's like Desert Shanty, and it's just all these awesome blues guitar, like, riffs. A bunch of lo-fi stuff, which I've been wanting to do more lo-fi stuff. Just, yeah. I just gotta, just gotta put it together and actually do it. I was playing around, I made like a short little, short little thing. Uh, when I got the cable, just to, you know, make sure it was working and kind of figure out my workflow. I had to rearrange my room, because how I have it is I have a desk in the corner. It's like a, a corner desk. Like, it's sort of triangular shaped, so it fits snugly in the corner. I got it from Ikea, and it's pretty good. Um, you get a decent amount of space for uh, how little space it takes up, and especially with recording, it was always good. Uh, and then next to it, I have like a folding table, which I like a lot. Oh crap, did I mess this up? I was kind of distracted. Yeah, I think I messed that up. Well, that's okay. We're not doing a 100% run. Whoa! Okay. Later. Uh. These guys. These guys are very Castlevania. Though, I'm so excited Yacht Club Games is doing Nina the Hollower, which is like, it's like a Game Boy Color inspired, like, Dark Souls. It's like somewhere between, like, Zelda and Dark Souls, and there's like, yeah, some Castlevania vibes in there. Or I guess maybe not Dark Souls, but, uh, Bloodborne. It looks awesome. I'm so stoked on that game. And of course I backed it on Kickstarter. So I'm looking so forward to when that one comes out. Well, right, I remember you gotta. Ah, well, I got another shot. Ooh, there we go. Nice. Pop. Gotta get that bug. Gotta get that beetle. Oop, okay. Um. So, yeah, I'm very stoked to use some of that stuff and make some music. Because I just, I really love music, and I was always like, I guess I was a little too self-conscious to really make it. Like I said, it's like, I've had several songs that I have, like, the full backing track and the lyrics and everything, like, I know how I want to perform them, and I've performed them live uh, at TrotCon years and years ago now. That was like Procon 2017. Maybe 2018? I don't remember. But, uh... Yeah, I just can record the vocals now. I have it all set up. But yeah, I have my folding table now, and I basically I had my computer on the desk, and I had the table open as a workspace. But because the desk is in the corner, I couldn't really fit my piano in front of it. So I kept having to, like, twist and twirl to get get uh, to the mouse to like do stuff and so I basically just swapped them around took everything that was on the table and on the desk swapped them around so now 
as I'm streaming at my computer, it is set up on the table, which feels nice. It's way more spacious. Um, I think I messed that up. Uh, no, that's okay. Um, and now I have the desk all set up for desktop streaming, so when I want to do, like, a tabletop game, there's a lot less space for tabletop games, but that's okay, because usually the solo games don't take up that much space. Um, speaking of Kickstarters, I've backed Battle Card and Voyages, which are solo print-and-play games, so I'm gonna be playing those. I already got Voyages printed off, I've been meaning to do it forever. What I wanted to get was a, uh, just like a binder and get them printed off nice on cardstock. I wanted to get them laminated, but for some reason the UPS store, when I, it, it wouldn't let me laminate it on there, but when I talked to them at the store, they said they do lamination. It just wasn't an option on the online store, so that's annoying, but I have it in like a protector so I can use dry erase markers without you know, having to redo the thing. Less wasteful. Oh, crap. Got hit by a rat. So yeah, I have all of that set up over there, which is great. And uh, now I have plenty of space for my keyboard, my piano keyboard. Oh lord, why don't we? Um, uh, uh, okay. Sorry, my brain is getting a little confused with this. Oh, platforms. Whoop. Um, but, yeah, that means I'm going to be able to do some music production pretty efficiently. I'm going to get cracking into some of that tomorrow. Maybe do more tutorials, because, like, I don't, most of my YouTube videos have, like, you know, less than a thousand views, often less than a hundred. Most of the time, 20 at most. Like, most of my videos do not have very many views. That's fine. I don't really try that hard to optimize the SEO or anything like that, um, so, uh, but my tutorials, one of which is, or a couple of them are on FL Studio, have, like, tens of thousands, I think one of them has near, it might have, like, near a million views, it definitely has, like, the hundreds of thousands at this point, and it's only, like, a minute, so it's not like I can monetize it or anything. But I'd like to do more of those. I'd like to do... Because the whole thing that people really like it, I still get comments to this day where people are like, oh, I'm so glad you kept this to just a minute. And it's like, yeah, that's the reason I made it is because I was looking up tutorials for the problem I was having and all of them were so long and a lot of them were confusing and involved like coding for some reason. So eventually... Eventually, when I did finally figure out how to do it, and it was so simple, I was just like, I'll just record myself in OBS and put this up, and people like it. So I'd want to do that for, like, all of FL Studio. Just, you know, show off what it is. An interloper is in our midst, begone from our throne room, Neve. I'm no more an intruder than you. You aren't even a real monarch. No, oh, but you're mistaken. The Enchanter saw me for my fabulously regal self, and now I'll bow before me. You're not but a decadent dandy. Prepare to taste justice. Shovel justice. Island. Those voices are way too similar. I have the voice in my head, and in my head, they sound way different. But when I actually do them next to each other, they sound pretty similar. Now you're gonna notice, in these boss fights, uh, I'm very reckless. My general move with most boss fights, especially this, like, Mega Man-style, like, single room boss fight, is, uh, basically use your health as a resource and just get hit. Just get hit! But, like, do it in a way where you can s you're hitting them so that you're trading damage. Whew! It's getting a little toasty in here. Oh, wow, it's it's a little humid, too. It's 56%. I try and keep it below 55. So, uh, I might go out and turn the AC down a little bit. Just a notch. I had it up kind of high. Um, let me grab some pretzels. Oh. Mm -hmm. ah! Let's 
deal with this guy real quick. It's also, I found all my old stuff from, uh, or at least, uh, some of my stuff from TrackCon, so I will probably recreate the songs I liked. Like, for sure, there was a Punch-Out song that I loved. Um, like a Mike Tyson's Punch-Out song that I, I felt pretty happy with, and there was, like, an Advance Wars song I really liked. So I will definitely be making those. Um, hello? Having my music piped into shopping centers, I suppose it does pay the bills. Now that I have this music sheet, I can, yeah. All right, let's go get those travel chalices. Hello, fish friend. Whoops, bye there. Uh, bye. There's one of those ones where it puts you on the wrong, and it's like good because that way when you're mashing you don't waste your stuff, but also it means if I'm trying to mash, it becomes a little cumbersome. All right, there we go. Or, oh, I actually have to run out. I remember being there being a way to just leave. Oh, wait a minute. I almost missed this secret. Nice. Um, and we are pretty good on uh, magic. Let's see here. Oh, you found the local happenstance. That's week I was. Bard from the juice bar. Or are you some kind of bartender? Now I have this new. Yeah. Porcelain dress! Porcelain dress! Okay, we're gonna do the trout pull after I take a quick break. It's kind of warm in here. I'm gonna switch from this yoga ball to my chair because my back's also stranded. Yeah, a little bit. So, uh, BRB in just a minute. Okay, like I said, just a short break. Ugh, fix my chair situation. And yeah, now I have it so that um, my mic is still hooked up to the desk, but it can reach over to me when I'm here streaming, and it can be used over there when I'm streaming as well. So I don't have to do the phone streams, everything's just set up. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet. I'm really happy with it. That was the thing, is I did the... Ooh, here it comes. Uh, I did the Marie Kondo method of checking what sparks joy and all that, and I wasn't super strict. Should have been stricter. Who has awakened me? Mortal, dost thou need aid? I sense a travel chalice. 
I can fill it with magical Icor. That's pronounced Icor. Choose your Icor wisely. Um, I usually go with red. Very well. What of your second choice? Uh, uh, same thing. Subjects, and when it joins us, the ceremony shall commence. But uh, yeah, I I had cleaned my room, but I hadn't rearranged things, and that was kind of bumming me out. I was like, man. Because I like to rearrange my entire room like every few months, but it's just become so much stuff that it's really hard to do that. But just this thing of like, I didn't move any furniture around, I just changed what was on top of it. Like, I feel very refreshed, very inspired, very ready to go. Um, and I'm still working on the anime, but that's like kind of in the far back burner because I got to get real work stuff done. Uh, but the main thing I've been doing this week is uh, I have an old hard drive from, it's, yeah, it's like a decade old, probably older. It's a two terabyte hard drive from back when that was very expensive. Fairly well shoveled tonight. Return if thou hast need of my aid again. Indeed I shall. Oh, right, there's like a... Hold on. Uh... Um, X, there it is. And we, what? Fish. Well, what do you think you're doing, mortal? Jesus, Christ. so good fish it for some apples. Justice and speed. This is my least favorite level. I love Spectre Knight. And his is my favorite um, of the options. And aesthetically, super cool. It's the shadow stuff. I don't... I'm not a fan of the shadow... We'll, we'll see later for anybody who's not familiar, but... The, um... Yeah, the shadow sections of this are just so obnoxious. Like, no matter how many times I play it, it's always just, like, such a pain to go through those uh, shadow sections, so... Not looking forward to that, but thankfully it's one of the earlier levels, so you get it out of the way pretty quick. In fact, that's probably why. I feel like this is a character they wanted to have uh, later in the game, but um, they they realize that he's a bit annoying, so they want to get it out of the way quick. Yeah. Also, these ghosts—it's just yeah, it's a pretty annoying level. What? Ah! Mm -hmm. That's it. Oh. <laughs> no! My jewels! My jewels! Oh, can I get back up? These guys. Whoops. Never mind! I missed out. Oh well. So, uh, yeah, it's a hard, it's a two terabyte external hard drive. It's the size of like, oh, damn, I missed out again. Well, that's one I can do. I can fix that. Um. Oh, you gotta get up there before you this off. I see. Ain't got no head. Oh, whoops, go there. Whoop! Ah, uh, almost. I'll try that one more time. Oh, almost. Uh, yeah, it's like a hard cover, cover, hard cover novel sized hard drive. It has a spinning disc. It has like a fan in it. You have to plug it in, like to a wall outlet. Like it's old old it's like one of the first ones that ever used usb 3 so it's like super slow and it i didn't have a problem with it for a long time when would you believe it it started dying on me and thankfully it's not just dead dead where i can't get into it but what it does is every few minutes it just stops working it just ejects 
you know, by itself. And if it's plugged into a USB hub, it also ejects all of the other hard drives hooked into that hub. So that's fun. Ugh. So, yeah. Basically, I knew I had to deal with it, so I got a new solid state 2 terabyte drive, which is like, you could fit like 30 of them in the size of this thing. It's amazing how technology has gone over the last decade. Um, but, uh, yeah. I've basically been transferring near two terabytes of data from one to the other, and I can't just set it and go because it just randomly ejects, and it's, it is random, like, it's not just, like, every three minutes so I could, like, go back and check. Yeah, this is the part I was talking about. See this? It's like, it's cool. I get it. It's a neat idea, but it's, like, super obnoxious to actually play. Oh. Like, I don't think it's a bad mechanic, I just personally find it very aggravating. I like it enough. That's not where I meant to do it. Son of a butt. Okay. Um, so, yeah, the last few days, I've been doing that. And that's the thing, is a lot of it is not, like, rare data or anything. So it's like, I don't have to go through all this trouble. But it's some of it is like hard enough to find that I'm like this is less annoying than having to track it down again because it's like a decade's worth of like stuff. A lot of that stuff is like hard to find, or in some cases probably impossible to find. So ah. so I'm. Yeah, the thing that was really getting me was like a bunch of SNES files that were like, each one's like a megabyte or two at most, generally less, but it still has to transfer each one individually, so it was having a lot of trouble with that. Um, so that was my aggravation today. I'm almost done. I will, I will be able to finish it tomorrow, but... Uh, stream happened, so. Had to do this, and then I'm just gonna hang out after this, so. I'll get it done tomorrow. Ah! Stay by pork. Oh, that's fine. Um. Yeah, that's. It's just been an aggravating chore all week getting that done. But once I have that done. It's like I have also another hard drive, it's like a spinning disk one, that I thought was dead. For years and years, if I ever plugged it in, it would like spin, but it wouldn't ever actually like load. And I was like, man, this thing's just dead? That sucks. But, uh, a few months ago, I was like, going through all my stuff, and I'm like, I should double check if everything works. And I'm like, give this one last shot, see how it goes. And it worked! And it had like some rare stuff, it had, um... This is one that nobody's gonna get, but it had Animation Voiceover Essentials by Lee Tokar. Lee Tokar, if you don't know, he's uh, a Canadian um, voice actor. He's uh, Snips on My Little Pony, French is Magic, as well as Steven Magnet. That's what a lot of people know him as. He was also... <laughs> I'm gonna get into some uh, deep references to Canadian cartoons, but uh, he was also 
uh, Yakety Yak on Yakety Yak. He was George in the 2000s uh, reboot of George of the Jungle. And, um, yeah, League of Super Evil. He was, uh, oh, what's his name? I don't know. I didn't really watch that one. Um, I have to time. But uh, yeah, I like Lee Tober a lot, and he did a course on 78910.com, so that's like the number is 789, and then spelt out T-E-N 10.com. Don't bother going there, though, because it's not on there. That's the thing, is like, I bought it back when it was out, like, uh, 2015, I think is when I got it, and I loved it. You know, it's a lot of basics. Watching it now, I'm like, oh yeah, I already... Most of this isn't that new information. It's really just kind of a primer on, like, you know, how do you, you know, the very basics of voiceover. It's it's 101 stuff. And I guess he does say essential, so it makes sense it all be foundational stuff. But, um, but, uh, yeah, it doesn't exist anymore. And if I, when I've emailed them, they've just ignored me. Because I'll just be like, hey, I bought this forever ago. Is there, like, anything I can do? They just don't even respond. So I don't know why it was taken off. Probably just like their licensing agreement ended. But uh, yeah, that's where I had to download it to. So that was a blast from the past to, you know, get to watch that. And just like, yeah, a bunch of other random like courses and things that I'd purchase or like downloads. So. I will uh, be moving that over to a solid state drive, and I will be setting up that old spin and disk drive as a backup drive, which is probably not super advisable considering it did go dead for so many years, so I shouldn't really rely on it for backup, but for the time being it'll be fine until I can afford another drive. I just, I just bought a new one, and it's like, uh, they're much cheaper than they used to be, but it's still 140 bucks for a terabyte drive, dude. That's, that's steep, and it's really, it's a lot of data, but it's not that much data when you really get down to it, you know? Ah, no, 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 ah, no, ah, why did I do this? Oh. But, uh, yeah. And that's the thing, too, is the 2 terabyte drive that's been such a chore for me all week. Most of that stuff I don't need. Like, there's a lot of redundant stuff that I already have, but, like, I wanted to at least check. And because it has that problem, it's like, I don't want to just sit there and, like, look, like, which one is which. I'm, I'm just moving it all over, and I'll check through and delete probably a ton of stuff. But it's just going to be easier for me to do that with a drive that isn't constantly, like, shutting itself down, you know? So, a lot of admin work. A lot of admin work lately in general. I'm just, like, getting my entire everything organized. I don't know if I've ever even noticed these in the fish there. Oh, Whoa, there we go. Um, yeah, it's like cleaning up a lot of stuff. Doing a lot of stuff like that. Where I gotta like... Organize my stuff digitally been like 
doing a lot of marketing and applying to stuff, so it's like not a lot of actual like on the job kind of like recording work, but like finding work. I do have some stuff to record. I got a lot of stuff to record tomorrow, but today I was just still busy with that drive. I'm just really trying to get it done as fast as I can. This is no place for the living mortal. You shall be summoned when it is your time. And everyone has a time. As we saw with your beloved Shield Knight. Lice! I won't believe such talk from phantoms. Your very existence is a vile deception. <laughs> the Enchanter is just full of surprises. They granted me new life. So that I may take yours. Whoa, and yeah, this is like, honestly, it's probably like the hardest boss fight. Spectre Knight is pretty tough. Not the least of which because there's a lot of that darkness stuff that I'm not a fan of. Towards the second phase, you know? <laughs> Whoa. Guys, watch out. Mm -hmm. Oh, got the one. It's not as hard as I remember, actually. I guess he is, like, one of the first bosses, so they didn't want it to be too hard. But he's pretty tough. You let him be. Ugh, man, I should eat some real food. It's like, I always have, like... Eggs on toast or avocado toast if, it's, if avocados are in season. It's really like crazy cheap here. Um, but. I've just been snacking all day. Plantain chips, peanut butter pretzels. I had like a frozen cake earlier. Is delicious, but not food. Not really. Ah, your fave boss. Okay. Well, yeah, it's like I love the character and the aesthetic and all of that, but like, in terms of the actual fights. definitely, like, my favorite character because Spectre Torment is my favorite mode. Um, that's the thing, is when they did the Kickstarter for this originally, they did a whoa! They did a, um, they did a vote to see which three uh, bosses would get their own mode. So, they, we knew from the beginning it was going to be those three. Um, and I voted for Tinker Knight. I wanted that to play as that guy. But, King Knight was also one of my tops, so thankfully I got that. What? Uh. Some fancy footwork. Crap. Uh, hold on. Forgot I had those. Back. Whoop. Oh, you can't hit through the thing. See, yeah, this is the reason I don't like this. I just don't like this mechanic with the shadows. Like, it's cool, but on a conceptual level, but it's just annoying on a playthrough level. There we go. Yeah, exactly. Like it's it's one of the coolest levels aesthetically. It's just like the mechanics, while they make sense for the level, are just like not my jam. Not what I like to do. 
Copper. Copper, Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight Copper. Tired. So tired. Get out of here. Get out of here, you freaking... Guys, I don't know. Yump. No! Ah, oh, it bounced off the thing! No! Oop. Hey. actually drew those. Like, mo pretty much all of the artwork on, uh, on the stream was done by D. So, you know. Hey, Mark, quality. Hmm. No. No! Could have done that much more efficiently, but well, whatever. Back to the grass astronomer. Whoops, that's not where I meant to go. Got it. I got mixed up. Town, that's where I want to go. Alright, let's talk to the various guys. Try to talk to. Let's see here. Oh, you found the apparition. I presented this theme to Spectre Knight. They started conducting that huge scythe. But I ducked out of the way in time. What? Dazzle my palette. Fish. That's enough for this point in the game. Um, yeah, no map, huh? No return to map. All right. Um, go is very good. No need for the goat at the moment. It is so sad. Hello? Yikes, spikes! I mean, I could pay as a way to safety. I could cross and get so much treasure. Uh, I don't have to fix them, do I? In fact, I believe I was supposed to get. I believe that was supposed to be inspector night. Let's go talk to Chester. Chester! Yes. Hey, blue birds, you wouldn't believe the merchandise I've got for you. Yeah, yeah I totally, totally missed that. Hmm. Oh well. Oh, I can't buy. 
the juice from him. I want that juice! But yeah, because I backed Mina the Hollower on the uh, level that I did, at the tier that I did, I got uh, got all these private music streams of Vert and Jake Kaufman, who did the music for this and is doing the music for Mina, as well as talking about sound effects. Because you see, there's tons of stuff about how to make chiptune, you know, 8 bit music. Crap. Ugh. I, tr I tried to dodge out of the way of the spikes, but uh, there was only a bit of a maybe to be found. Um, so it's like, I've, I've seen all that stuff. I know how to use a, a, a tracker, as they call them. Uh, for the most part. But, uh, yeah, going into how you make sound effects for games like that, that was really interesting. No! God! Mmm! Oh, green sludge. Gotta remember he's there. Alright, focus. Do not let the sludge get you. Nope! Mm, keep forgetting about the pushback. Oh, is that what Chester is supposed to look like? I guess there is like a manual for this game. Hold on, I think actually I can access it from here, I want to say. No, you could do that on 3DS. If you have a 3DS, um, but no. If you have a uh, 3DS, you can go into the options on there, and a lot of games will have manuals that you can read, including Shovel Knight, which has a really cool, like, classic manual. No 3DS. Unfortunately. Wah! Oh, I was supposed to face them. I see. I think if you look it up, you can also just find it online at this point for Shovel Knight. It's just like a PDF that I definitely have around here somewhere. Ah! That's fair. That's very fair. You use your money for what you're gonna use your money for. What? What you? Uh. Oh, come on, man. Really get me. All right, we gotta go for serious. Ah, dip dang fruit. Um, Ooh, yeah, still, I'm. Um, in a mode where I'm thinking about music as well. I don't want to just make, like, nerdcore songs, although I do appreciate them. Uh, if you don't already, be sure to listen to the Stupendium. The Stupendium is... you probably heard at least the fine print, which was his Outer Worlds song. And it was very good. Um... I would say one of my favorites lately from Stupendium has been Wool Over Our Eyes, which is the Cult of the Lamb song that Stupendium did. Um, ah, dip. I'm 
like that one's pretty good. Tune into the Madness always gets me, which is the uh, Little Nightmares 2 song, a uh, collab that Stupendium did with Dan Bull, who uh, is also a great nerdcore rapper. Um, as well, oh, what was that? Oh, uh, Rogue's Gallery is one of my favorites. That's his, like, crazy red from Animal Crossing song, and it's awesome. I love that one. So it just, it's all of these great, like, fine art puns. And it's, like, not, like, classic old-school hip-hop, but it's, like, you know, it's definitely, like, kind of more minimalist indie hip-hop, you know? Get him, get him. All right. These guys can get you. And whoop. Okay, in the end, I believe I actually lost a lot more money than I got when I went in there the first time, but that's... Whatever. Uh, okay, so to get in, I gotta take Explodatorium or Iron Whale. I will take Explodatorium. This is a level that I love because it's got a lot of bouncing and trouncing. Really enjoy doing that. So, and like this, this is a cool mechanic because it really makes you think about your movement in an interesting way. Yoop. And listen to that, that track. It's very, uh, Warrior Land. Uh, I would also say MC Chris, great nerdcore rapper. I'm real behind on his stuff. I haven't really listened since like, or like 2015 at least. Like it's been a minute. I don't know if he's put out anything lately. He had a concept together for an MC Chris animated series, which would have been really cool. Like the animation was really good. The writing was pretty funny. He would have had it would have been like a musical. Like he would have had a new rap every episode, and would have been great. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I think he was pitching that around and it didn't take off. I'm surprised it don't swim. It didn't pick it up. It's like, seemed like their jam. And like, he's done a ton of stuff for Adult Swim. He was all over like C-Lab. Uh, most people would know him from Aqua Teen Hunger Force. He was MCP Pants. Uh, the like, guy who kept getting reincarnated. So, you know, it was pretty funny. I, I, yeah, C-Lab 2021 is my favorite. Although we're past C-Lab 2021 at this point. We're in 2023. I wonder if they said anything about that. Yeah, I, oh man. I don't know how well it holds up, but I do remember C-Lab being like one of my favorites. So I was... I caught, like, a couple episodes of Space Ghost, but that was a little before my time. C-Lab was, like, the last of that era of Adult Swim, where it was, like, just kind of using all the Hanna-Barbera properties that they had the rights to. Harvey Birdman being the best one, of course. Like, I love Harvey Birdman, Attorney of Law. That's a game, uh, I don't know how well I could play it on here, because it's basically just an Ace Attorney clone. But it was on PSP. I think it might have also been on PS2. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know, the emulation vibe on that. Bam. Bam. Whoops. He's gotten caught. He's gotten caught in the overflow. Uh, 
Oh, ah, crap. I thought there was a... Shortcut up there. Classic Mario style shortcut. Guess not. Guess not. Mm. What? Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. But yeah, I would certainly like to do, you know, streams uh, where I make music. I don't know how well my computer could handle running FL Studio and OBS. That might be asking a bit much of it. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. I'm looking forward to trying. I do like making music. I want to be better at it. I'm not... I don't think I'm, like, terrible. I do understand a decent amount of music theory. But, uh, I'm also... You know, I'm just self-trained. Yeah, I do love this. I have a decent amount of experience. I can play an instrument now. I can sing okay. I can rap pretty good. You know, it's it's a matter of like kind of working out. I don't want the lyrics to fit together. That was the main thing about that. Um, about that advanced wars rap is like there's a part in there where I have I have like a pretty good flow that I found. Um, how did it go? I think I might be able to remember this. It was like. Um, Ah, uh, I don't remember off the top of my head. Uh, it's been several years since I last thought about it. There's like a part in there that I'm like pretty proud of how like it flows, but I'm definitely gonna actually like remaster that song and like shine it up. Cause that's the thing too is like I was working under kind of a deadline because I was gonna be performing it live at a con, so. I could have used, spent a little more time on it, but I wanted to uh, get it done. Sometimes done is better than perfect, you know? Especially in an art form that uh, includes a live performance like that. Oh man, I'm realizing how fatigued I am from dealing with that hard drive all freaking day. It's literally just been a matter of like sitting down and just clicking it as it goes through. You know, plugging it and unplugging it over and over. And it decides to disconnect itself. <coughs> um, so. Yeah, I don't know. I guess that's just just exhausting enough. It's, it still takes some energy. Whoops! I forgot I didn't have the phase locket equipped still. There it is. Oh boy! Hey. Freckles, get out of here. And I still want to play Doom 2016 at some point. I was going to do that as a marathon, but frankly, I'll probably just do that as a series. Because, like, putting the pressure of a marathon on it for me, it's like I could probably finish it in time, but... It took me a long time when I beat it the first time. So I think we won't uh, push our luck on that. Boink. Boink. Or, ooh, almost missed this. A sneaky secret. Wow. Whoa. No, 
what? I don't even need to deal with you. Get out of here. There's Chester. In the village or out in the field, I have all the deals. You're not gonna believe what I just found in this chest. Want to see? That's coin. You're lucky you can win me. Nice, 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 nice. Whoa. Ooh, oh, it just bounced off me. Hmm. Wow. And down we go. Oh, Watch, out. Watch out, he's gooing. He's gooing where he needs to goo. Man, I think back to like a few years ago and it's like, my life is so different now. Despite, like, still just being here, working from home, it seems like it's not that different, but it's like, yeah. My health is different, my diet is totally different. I'm in such different shape. Ugh, I'm losing weight again. Need to get on top of that. Uh, it's just, I... My appetite never super recovered from when I was sick and lost all the weight, so, like... While I know I should be eating more, it's like... A, reminding myself to eat, because, like, I don't just get, I don't as often just get hungry, like, unless it's been all day, and then I'm like, whoa, I'm, I really need to eat something. Most of the time, I'm just like, oh, yeah, I should probably eat, but, uh, yeah, especially if I sleep in, and then it's like, I can only eat so much, you know, I can't just keep eating and eating. Like, I can eat, like, a decent meal every couple hours, maybe, but then it's like, I'm really not hungry a couple of hours after that, so I'm like, eh, I'm myself to eat, that is so fun. So, it's a bit of a struggle, but I'm making it work. I'm exercising a lot, so at the very least, I'm, just, I'm maintaining a decent amount of muscle. So that's pretty Probably too many supplements. I do like a protein shake and a collagen shake, which combined is like it's a lot of just like jamming stuff in my body, you know? Oh, yeah, I forgot you could get them in this mode. I believe you can also just hit the potions, but I don't feel, feel like it. Oh, geez, down to my last health. Hey, there we go. Oh, well that feels like a bit of a waste. Considering it immediately gave me health. Apple. Wow. Maybe we'll get a trowel. Yeah! Oh, uh, well it's blue. Uh, I'll take it. No gift horse in my no. You know how it goes. I thought I had I thought I was gonna have to start the stream late anyways because um I'm in a new D D campaign and I thought whoops. I thought today was our first session. But the wires got crossed on that because um, the DM is in the UK. But as it turns out, when I went back and checked the message again, I just completely got the day wrong. That's fine. Better to uh, better to get the day wrong one forward than uh, one back. You know, didn't miss out. It's gonna be a big part. It's like eight people in this adventuring party, and that's like a lot. Like generally, it's like you want to aim for six. No, no, no. Oh, it's facing the wrong way. 
Like, six is supposed to be the sweet spot. At least that's what I've heard. Um, but I've only ever done, like, really small parties of, like, two to three people. So I'm real curious what it's going to be like. It's a very different dynamic. Lost him anyways. That's fine. I don't need him. I don't even need it. Whoop. Oh, right. I remember how this one works. Whoop. Whoop. Whoops. Whoop. Whoop. No, oh, my rhythm was off. My rhythm was off. Okay, okay. We're just gonna blast through here. In fact, I will probably just phase lock it through that part because I don't care anymore. I just want to get through. Nope, nope. Oh, wait, there was a thing down there. Probably get that. Whoa. There we go. Ooh, and it was worth it. Oh my goodness. So many riches. Yeah, my rhythm is all off on this. <sighs> used to be used to be also I used to play this like constantly. So, it's rusty. Whoop. Boing! And there we go. Yeah, I may actually call this stream kind of short. I'm feeling pretty low energy. I'm having a little bit of trouble coming up with commentary. I think, again, it's probably because I've been eating nothing but snacks all day. I should probably just go and eat some real food. Is it takes time to prepare or it costs money. I'm trying not to spend so much money. Uh, it's uh, Taco Bell's frustrating because the Taco Bell. Whoops by us is because we live near enough a highway it's like a highway taco bell so everything there is like more like way more expensive than other taco bells like literally if you open the app and don't pick a location it's like this is two dollars and then you put in our location it's like actually it's like 350 it's like ludicrous it's almost double price for all this stuff and it's barely worth it at the cheap price you know so incredibly frustrating. But I love it. Blew up on the top of Bell. So Taco Bell, if you don't eat dairy, man, so much cheese and everything. I ain't eat cheese no more. Don't eat dairy. It makes me break out. So I don't like that. Plus, I'm lactose intolerant on top of it. So it hurt, hurt my tummy and make my face less pretty. No thanks. Yeah. Yeah, it's literally like double price for the Taco Bell near us. Because they're tr hoping to scam all the people coming in off the highway who don't have much other choice. Or so they think, but there's like so many options around us. There's so many, uh, we got like Popeyes and Zach's, we have a million things. Oh, I just sipped through the dialogue without reading it. Excuse me. Trickery. <laughs> the fruits of my research are only a trick. Boom! <laughs> now let's have a lesson, shall we? I promise <laughs> it will be enlightening. 
have to remember with him that I'm gonna have to do him for a full playthrough when I get to that game. So I have to be careful to give him a voice that's like... I do like doing this for the, the lift here. Regally, the royalty is for the bird. I like how some of the explosions, yeah, they like light up the background. That's pretty neat. It's a good force. This whole game is such a love letter to like classic. Um. Classic, classic gaming, all those retro NES games, I love this guy. Listen man, Taco Bell is not great, but it's cheap. Frankly, I could make the exact same thing at home for cheaper, but it's like, if it's only going to cost me a couple bucks, I'd rather just grab it from a place. The main thing is that they make the taco, the burritos wrong. They'll always do it like horizontal so that you get like a bite of like nothing but potato, nothing but rice, nothing, it's like, you gotta do it, you gotta stack it dude so you get a bite of everything in every bite. So annoying. Like god, have they never, have the people who worked at Taco Bell never had a burrito before like they should understand this north from pride more west at the fork no bother i must pass it already well met traveler oi maybe you can help me i think i got lost i was trying to wait a second you're the knight with a shovel indeed i am the the knight with a shovel who has been menacing the village i i assure you i have done no such you're gonna use that shovel to bury innocent people Parents here. Yeah, this is one of the Kickstarter characters. Like there was a tier where you got to make your own like little boss, and this is one of the guys. Pretty much all these overworld bosses are like Kickstarter guys. I don't remember who made this guy. Uh, someone made like the the liquid ninjas. They're like towards the end of the game. Like that was their their move for their uh, Kickstarter tier. The super edgy dude with like the, the like sting makeup, um, that was two best friends play. I don't remember which specific one. Yeah. I don't know, man. First strike? I did it. Do your worst villain struck me, Dan. I'm no villain. We're fighting a common enemy. We, we are? Why didn't you say so? Well, I feel like a fool now. Think nothing of it, friend. Knights are strongest when they work together. Yeah, Knight's Code. First vow. Always help a pair person in need. Knock him down, Shovel Knight. I completely lost the accent on that last bit. Oops. Oh, well. Cool. Thanks for tuning in, Laser. Check you later. Um. Right. Gotta get a new armor. Ding, 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 ding. Let's see. Um. The guy I want. Right? Oh no, did I grab the wrong one? Whoops. Um. Oh, I see. Right? Right now, this is what I wanted. God, dip. Now I don't got enough money. Um. 
Okay. And chicken. And we hop over here. And grab that. For later. And there's that. Hello. This was another Kickstarter guy. Ah, it's my greatest passion. Nothing I enjoy more than the crisp snap of a well tailored grin. You ain't even wearing a stupid. I get over there in the first place. Oh yeah, I dropped it. All right, and a drop. Whoop! Oh, okay. I swear, I remember a thing. Oh well. Oh yeah, I'm really fading. But I'm not. That's another thing. Is all over the place nowadays so it can be a bit tough to continue doing things like streaming there's the guy I can't believe this trouble friend have you lost your way but the best gear the slickest armor the strongest rope uh, pardon are you in need of help Stuck up order of no quarter clowns have no idea what they're missing. Hey, you look like a knight. Shovel Knight, touch your service, but I'm not in league with. So I heard that if you beat a knight, you get to take their title, right? Please don't do something you'll regret. I don't want to. Great Baz Knight, like the sound of that? I'll have no choice but to accept me now. Come on, let's do this. Get him. Get him. Baz, Baz, Baz. Get him, get him. Let's get him, get him. Boing, boing, boing. Oh jeez, second phase. He's so tough. First try. I got him. No way. Not even my best moves can face you. Well, Fort, if you can accept defeat like a true knight, you'll always have your dignity. Now they'll never let me into the order. Never, ever, ever. Well. Boo hoo, buddy. Boo hoo. Tears for your fears, ladies and gentlemen. Tears for your fears. Oh, let's do the Iron Whale. That might be the end of it for me. Kind of a short stream, but I'm just, I'm really, uh, it's been a long week. I'm really completed. Whoop. Bow, bow, bow. Woo. Like, I, it baffles me the people who are just like, yeah, I streamed for like 24 hours that one time. I'm like, what? How? How'd you do this? I have like generally so much energy, and then. I mean, nothing inherently, but it's like. I always seem to have the best results when I have at least a four hour stream. So only going for two hours is a bit, uh, a bit less than ideal. I would say, based on what I've learned streaming, but it's like, yeah. Like, two hours of a stream where I'm just kind of like slumped over as I am now is, uh, 
not really worth it to hang around, you know? Now that I've been talking about Taco Bell, I'm not really craving Taco Bell, but I am craving Mexican food. Uh, that's the thing. The thing I like most about Mexican food is the only part that I've just not been able to emulate at home. I can make the same rice they make at the Mexican restaurant, you know, the Eros con Rojo. Um, I can make all the other stuff, but the beans, dude, the beans you get at a Mexican restaurant where they're like, they're like thin and runny and they got that particular flavor to them. Oh. It's just canned beans don't compare. And I could probably figure out how to make them, but it's like I have to make them like way in advance. Because, you know, I'd want to just be able to do it. But like literally just like beans and rice from a Mexican restaurant. Sign me up, man. That's just, that's all I really want. Um, especially... Uh, there's a Mexican spot near here that they have a lunch special called Puefas Mexicana, which is, um, it's really straightforward. It's just scrambled eggs with onion, tomato, and jalapeno. Uh, rice and beans on the side, and you get some tortillas, right? And they're like homemade in-house tortillas. They're delicious. So, um, yeah, and it's pretty cheap. It's like 10 bucks for that. So, like, I, I got it way too much when, like, I was home alone. Roommates were out of the house, so I was like, I'm just gonna get that lunch. I'm gonna get that for breakfast. And you know what? It was delicious. But it also gave me a lot of heartburn from the jalapeno. Plus, those beans probably have lard in them, which is trying not to do too much meat. Like, I'm not obsessive about not... Oh yeah, that's something I like, is the, uh... Is that if you, if you pull the fish up underwater, instead of flopping around, they actually swim. Which makes sense. Ow. Yeah, I'm not obsessive about not eating meat, necessarily. It is for a moral reason. But, uh... I'm not quite at the point where I'm like, no meat ever. Like, if there's some kind of... Some kind of something. Or like, if I order something and they don't... And it has meat in it I didn't realize, I'm not just gonna, like, waste it. Right? I think... Wasting food, to me, is much worse of an offense than... Um... Than, than, uh... The murder. I suppose. I don't know. I have a lot of conflicted feelings about it. It's like, at that point, the creature is already dead. And... If I'm at a place where they're making that, then I'm already supporting that in a way anyways, so... I'm not gonna necessarily intentionally order... <sighs> intentionally order... Something that's very neat, but... It happens all the time. All the time. Plus, I'm a sucker for gimmicky food, so, you know, that's one of the reasons I like Taco Bell a little too much, is because they always have, like, weird stuff, and it's like, I gotta try it. I gotta know. It's probably not gonna be that great, but I have to know so that in the future, when someone's like, hey, they made this stupid thing, I can be like, yeah, I tried it. It was not great. Uh, I remember they made the, the quesalupa, where it's basically just, like, a chalupa with a bunch of cheese in the chalupa shell. Those are okay. And... They made the triple lupa, where it was basically, like, three chalupas, like, combined. Like, it was three small chalupas in a row that were, like, connected, human centipede style. 
And, uh... That was... Just kind of silly. It ended up being, like, maybe one and a half... Ugh, one and a half chalupas worth of food. So... I wouldn't recommend it in any way, but I don't regret it. I'm just kind of just like their same nonsense chalupa. It's also, I don't eat the meat at Taco Bell. I just eat the veggie stuff, which basically means like a lot of beans, rice, and veggies. The meat is awful. Like, Taco Bell meat is absolute, like, you may as well just throw it right in the garbage can, dude. It's absolute nonsense. Um, but <sighs> the other stuff is fine. That's the thing, it's like, it's it's pretty hard to really mess up um, Mexican food because it's it's pretty simple, you know? It's like the, uh, the same handful of ingredients. It's really just about the level of care put into preparing each of those ingredients, right? That's what I'm saying. It's like, I want restaurant-style uh, refried beans at home. Right, but that's like just something I can't get. So that alone is worth going to a real Mexican restaurant. Yeah, it's pretty pungent, Taco Bell. Oh my god, I'm not even halfway through. Uh, I may call it on this. I'm feeling really, really going. Really, just gotta get something to eat. Probably from some Mexican restaurant. Or, I mean, we got all the stuff in Mexican food here. I can just make something. I just don't feel like it. And I just want those good beans and rice. Those beans and rice. Ah. Like, literally, I could eat that nonstop. I don't ever get sick of Mexican food. I've worked at, like, restaurants where it's like you get free food every single day, and it's like, yes, count me in. And like, I literally, not for a second did I get tired of the food, even when I had it every single day. It's just like, it's so simple, so satisfying, it's just, it's just good food, man. What can I say? It's a lot of carbs, which is great. I love carbs. It makes me feel good. Feels alive. I've been out riding like that in ages. And the way I'm about to drop another great deal on you, want to see? Yeah, sure. What? Whip. All right. Healed up. Point. Oh, I missed out on that blue. Missed out on that blue. Oh well. Okay, I'm just gonna finish up this level and call it. Yeah, I just Taco Bell is just one of those cases where it's like. It's pretty bottom of the barrel, Tex Mex, super cheap. Or at least most of the places are super cheap. But like, when you want it, it hits. Taco Bell is one of those things where it's like, I just, I'm just hungry enough not to care, you know? Maybe I could go to Subway. Subway's another one where it's like, it's literally just a sandwich. Come on, why am I craving that? just that it's a sandwich full of a lot of stuff. Give you so much stuff. Still not enough to justify the price. Subway got so expensive, dude. Whatever happened to the five dollar foot long, you know what I'm saying? 
now it's like an eight dollar foot long and they're talking about like yeah we have five dollars six inch sandwich how about that and it's like bruh you're out of your mind if you think i'm gonna pay five dollars for that amount of sandwich Though, at a gas station, that's about what you're paying for, like, an egg salad or whatever, so... I guess it's not that bad. Alright, gotta... Got my stuff. Get him. Get him. There we go. Speaking of the get him, get him. which is a Gravity Falls reference, if you're aware, uh, Gravity Falls was a great show, and I'm glad that it ended when it wanted to. You know, the story happened and it finished. I love a show that can do that, rather than one that just goes on for a million years because they can keep doing it. Um, but. Uh, I've been reading lately. I got his gift. I think it was last Christmas. Uh, I got it. Journal number three, which is just like... It's not super accurate, right? Because it's, it's supposed to be journal three from the show. But it's got a bunch of stuff in it that was like very much in journal two in the show. So I don't know about... I don't know about that. But it's pretty cool. It's got a lot of, like, codes that I haven't even touched. Like, I'll get around to it at some point. But at the moment, I'm just reading through it straight through. And it's cool. It's got, like, a lot of fun lore and creatures that didn't show up in the show. Like, one that I really like is the Pladipus. Like, P-L-A-D. Pladipus. And it's fun. It's just, like... It's a Pladipus. He's Plaid. And that's, I guess, what they make, you know, flannel out of. That's, it's like, it's mosquito proof and it's great, so the lumberjacks around there just make all of their flannels out of platypus. Alright, here we go. Let's finish this off. My gems, my vessel, my ocean, your very presence tarnishes. You are to lay claim to the sea itself. Your greed knows no bounds, treasure knight. Your hands are no less dirty. Even now, others are paying for your avarice. Let us be. Winner takes all. Yeah, this is a generic. It's a... What's the... you call it? Pretty voice? Yeah. What more do I need to say? He's a sea guy. I gave him a sea voice. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Go down, please. Thank you. I've been nailing it in these boss fights, at least. So that makes me feel good. Mainly some of the trickier platforming segments, because I'm still getting the hang of those. But I don't think I've lost in a boss fight yet. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um... Is this a dream night? No. Right. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna call it there. I am so much more tired than I realize. Just a combination of, like, working out this morning, and then, like, working all day, and... Not really eating a lot. I'm very, very tired, so... Um... I'll catch y'all next Friday, same time, uh, 5 o'clock Eastern. I'll be better about actually getting here on time, and for longer, I'll remember to eat before then. But thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Check out the archive, check out the Discord community. Um, just realized there's a ton of, like, iron shavings all over my mic stand. It rubbing against itself all the time. It's not great. Uh, anyways, yeah, check all that out down below. 
we're gonna raid over to somebody, so don't go away quite yet. Um, let's see now. Let's see now, who's available? Who's streaming? It could be anybody. If it's you, then you're streaming, so what? Any who's... Mm. Oh, let's go with the Vocal Butcher. I haven't streamed since I started following him. He's an awesome metal singer. And a voice actor. He's playing some Halo, the Master Chief collection. So go check him out. Let him know I sent you. Have a great weekend, and I'll see y'all next Friday. Good night. Good night. Goodbye.